sitting on my wall. I hope I don't have a great fall because I'm worried that all the king's horses and all the king's men wouldn't be able to put me together again. Hello you, hello me, hello everyone. It's music time today. La 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 la. Hello everyone. It's Anne here from Branch Into Music, back safely in my studio, sitting on the floor. Do you know somebody else who sat on a wall and had a great fall? Humpty Dumpty! Oh, what was that? Oh, hi Rainbow Fluff! Hi! Did you say something before Fluff? It was Humpty Dumpty, Anne. Oh, yes, of course. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Whee! Splat. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. I love Humpty Dumpty. Me too. Did you know that Humpty Dumpty was actually a great big cannon used by the king's men during the English Civil War in the 1640s. They actually hauled Humpty Dumpty right up to the top of a church tower where he blasted away for nearly three months. The church tower was eventually blown up and down came Humpty, crash. And after his great fall, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Wow, I have no idea. Well, me neither. I've always thought that Humpty Dumpty was a great big egg. With Easter coming up this week, Rainbow Fluff, I thought it might be fun to have a look at some of the things that educators could and families and carers might be able to do with this classic nursery rhyme. Humpty Dumpty. Great idea, and I'm just going to pop you up on the bench with Humpty for a moment, Fluff, so that I can wave my hands around. You know I do like using my hands when I talk. Okay. After singing Humpty Dumpty with my children, I like to encourage them to become eggs themselves. So this is just a basic gymnastics pose, a tuck shape. So we rock back and forwards and sing. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall and then Humpty Dumpty had a great fall and whee! We topple over. Then we keep the beat. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now I love to add this last little bit that goes like this. Along came the children with brushes and glue and put him together as good as new. Hooray! Then I like to ask the children, does anyone know a word that rhymes with wall? Ball! Oh, thanks Fluff. Yes, ball does rhyme with wall. And now this next activity could get a little bit crazy, especially if you've got an older um, energetic group, but it's a terrific one to do with a small group and it's a particularly good activity to do with younger children. So everyone needs a ball and then the children sit on the ball instead of the wall. So you can see an example of me doing this just here. Humpty Dumpty sat on a ball and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Whee! We fall off our balls and then we keep the beat on the ball. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So much fun. What else can we do with Humpty Anne? Well, Fluff, 
Like last week, we could draw or find some pictures that tell the story of Humpty Dumpty. So maybe one of Humpty on his wall, one of him falling, and maybe one of the king's horses and the men unable to put him together again. And the children could colour in the pictures, or and then they could arrange the pictures and sequence the story. You could do an Easter craft activity, so maybe decorate um, some eggs or decorate a large um, picture of an egg and then cut the picture up and then stick it back together again. You could build a wall for Humpty with blocks just like I've done here. And you could talk about eggs with your children. Who lays them? What happens when they break? What's on the inside? I love to use this book with the children. Humpty Dumpty has lots and lots of different adventures and the pictures are just stunning. I've popped a link to where you can buy this book in the notes below this video. Well, Rainbow Fluff, I don't know about you, but I feel like I need a little bit of a holiday. Me too, Anne. Fluff and I are going to take a couple of weeks off now for our Easter break, and then we'll be back again after the holidays with some more nursery rhymes next term. But in the meantime, you can look back through all of our old musical moments. There are over 50 now on our YouTube channel. Wow! Yes, heaps of songs and musical activities to keep everyone busy. See you in a fortnight, friends. Come, my friends, let's gather round. It's time to sing goodbye. We'll sing and play another day. So long, farewell, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.